Hello Taurus, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're gonna go ahead and do a bonus love reading for you guys to show you my appreciation for being always, you know, one of the most viewed signs. Um, I'll just look at the current energies regarding your love life and also we're going to look at the possibilities here in the future uh, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If this does not resonate with you guys, I've already uploaded <clears throat> the week ahead. So let's see here. What does Taurus need to know regarding their current energies here regarding their love life? What are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, please? One more. Wow, there's a star, Aquarius energy. There's hope. The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Venus in Virgo. It's just someone here that is hoping for someone that is well off or someone that in a way has accomplished a lot, is very independent. And the Emperor, which can be Aries Taurus. Um, like someone with the emperor, I always feel like someone has their own structure, their own order, but it may be very much that masculine energy here you're dealing with. The two of wands with the two of pentacles, the seven of cups, the eight of swords, and the seven of pentacles. Um, interesting. We have a Scorpio and Taurus. We have Aries and Capricorn. And we have Gemini. What it is looking is like someone here... There's choices, of course, with all of this, it means choices, but someone is stuck. Right away with the two of wands to me, it's always that someone is looking at a, a better choice or is looking at someone. It may be also someone that is long distance here. But this thing has been going on for some time. Why? Because the seven of cups is here. With the seven of cups, always we have all these emotions, all these feelings, but nothing concrete. It's always like um, there's the fantasy, there's these many desires, there's someone, someone is stuck in the head here with the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Cups. There's a lot in the dreamland. Um, there's a lot of waiting, especially Seven of Pentacles has been stuck in this situation for a long time. It's been going back and forth, back and forth, trying here to, to kind of decide. I don't know if someone is waiting for the other person to set their intentions because these twos are very much in contradiction with each other there's the two of ones as i mentioned that i want this is what i want this is what my intentions are uh, this is what my expectations are but someone uh, has not decided someone is trying to kind of weigh these two choices why because it's there's a lot of confusion or there's a lot of dreams and wants and emotions but someone is, is stuck in this. There's nothing concrete. And the Seven of Pentacles wants something here. Do I invest in this situation? Do I wait? Like someone is trying to figure out here what's going on. So let's clarify a little bit. What is that Two of Wands, please? One more. Wow, the lovers. The Eight of Wands one is come here. So I feel like someone is waiting for some type of communication. Okay, so it's uh, it's someone here that you feel a very magnetic pull, a very strong attraction. What is the Two of Wands with the lovers, please? One more. Okay, this one needs to come out. So I'm just Empress, which can be very much your energy. Remember, we have the Emperor here. Um... The Knight of Cups. This is very romantic. Someone towards here is watching, waiting, trying to decide regarding someone that is their best choice. So there's a lot of unconditional love. Again, when I look at the lovers, me personally, it is a very, very strong, deep connection. But always I find that when the lovers come, there's some type of separation. There's some type of consequences. Two people are trying to figure out why they have this magnetic pull and what's going on here. It's just uh, Pisces, Taurus, um, Libra here, Gemini again, and Aries. But I keep getting that someone here is waiting for actions towards love. Towards you, you towards them. It's like he's waiting for the other person to decide. What is the two of pentacles here? One more. 
Scorpio energy, the death card and the judgment. So someone here, that means that something has to drop here, guys. The two of pentacles has not had an ending. This has not have, have any kind of purging. Is someone that has been going back and forth is something that a choice needs to be dropped here. Judgment tells me again that someone is waiting for a sign, especially with the page of wands here, is waiting for a return, a recovery. Uh, especially the judgment here, always I feel like someone is asking, uh, not just for a sign, it's just it's like quench my thirst or please, you know, save me from this situation. And it's coming with a death card. What is the Two of Pentacles with the death card? One more. The Queen of Wands. Someone very passionate here, very attractive. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, it does not have to be again. It can be someone that... Someone has not let go. There's not been an ending here with this passionate person. What is this about? One more. Wow, Scorpio again. Someone from the past. There's a soulmate connection here, um, Taurus, that you have. But you have been going on from waiting and juggling you or whoever you're dealing with. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Wow, the Five of Swords is a lot of conflict, by the way. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. One more. The High Priestess. I'm telling you, this is in the dreamland. This is desires, options that are not being actually, you know, said. They are not being out here. It's just the intuition is strong. The fantasy is strong. Piscean energy. There's a Seven of Pentacles. Uh, someone's still waiting, but... I feel like you and this person mostly are co connecting in the 5D on, or in the dream world here. Um, it's like trying to figure out here why all these emotions, why all these feelings. What is this about? One more. Yes, someone wants a new beginning, but it's not. It's, the, the risk is not being taken. It's just someone keeps dreaming. Um, for an epiphany for a realization regarding this big step and this again big step as i mentioned means that something here from the past has been juggled and waited has never there's not been an ending and i keep getting guys for you taurus this there's not been a farewell i feel like that was the last reading i did as well that someone feels like okay we didn't have a proper uh closure here or didn't, we didn't say goodbye or there's something else here that still keeps being juggled Because right away, why is this, again, is the Eight of Swords. Someone is stuck here. What is the Eight of Swords, please? One more. Wow. The Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, the Page of Cups. It's like someone has so much love, wants this opportunity, wants to open up, but they can't. It's like, I feel like the emotions are bottled up here, but mostly blocked emotions, blocked feelings regarding a potential here, um, regarding an offer. What is this Ace of Cups? The Queen of Swords. Someone feels very detached. One more. Someone is not opening up here. Yeah, the Emperor is coming now. There's a lot of control. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which is always about destiny or things unfold, unfolding naturally or unpredictive. And the Emperor is trying to hold on. By the way, this Queen of Swords and the Emperor here seems very much the same kind of energy. It's like someone is stuck in this cycle of controlling a situation, but also wanting to open up. Someone also feels very much detached or the other person is looking at this person as not opening up, holding back. Why the seven of pentacles here, please? One more. Oh my God, the seven of cups. Trying to figure out all these emotions, all these options. Again, we have um, Taurus Scorpio here. It's like someone is saying, is this going to come here? Um, 
to fruition? Are all these options, all these possibilities something that I still need to invest? I have all these emotions. What is this about? One more. Yeah, the Six of Swords, trying to move in a direction here, transitioning. Uh, Mercury, by the way, in Aquarius, all of those are uh, very fixed signs here, which I feel like, again, you guys are going to be affected, of course, with the lunar uh, eclipse in Taurus. I, I see right now a very, very strong soulmate connection that is being going back and forth. I don't see, I have to tell you, right now I just see waiting. I don't see uh, concrete things. It's someone is still trying to figure out how to move from this. I'm stuck on you here or I feel trapped, but I have so many desires. Uh, I don't want to cause here any type of turmoil. Someone is waiting for the other person here to drop a choice or again to kind of, there needs to be some type of... Uh, ending in a way again of what's going back and forth someone has been keeping this for some time here juggling it's like i'm waiting for you to decide and i keep going back and forth i don't know if this is you or the person you're connecting with but there is one particular person that is coming here as you are who i want or you are the love of my life or you know kind of you know the person i dream about total package there with the knight of cups and the empress but someone at the same time is holding back, is controlling the situation. So I'm going to ask you, what are the possibilities here? And we will look, uh, you know, two to three weeks from now since uh, I'm doing a bonus reading almost every week for Taurus. So let's see. What does Taurus need to know? What are the possibilities regarding this connection, the outcome here in the near future? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the possibilities regarding this connection? One more, please. Okay, guys. So the lovers is coming again. So definitely, you know, this is two people that want to be together. They are being pulled towards each other. There's the passion the ignition type of situation and the emperor is coming it's just someone is trying to control that passion or needs to be in control the knight of pentacles oh with the five of pentacles the eight of wands the em i'm telling you guys and the four of pentacles oh taurus there is so much love here and there's so much desire but i feel like someone is not moving there's so much that someone is taking action here. We have this methodical knight that is thinking of the best situation to get out of a situation here, the best situation to get out of feeling rejected. I'm getting that there's messages, but someone here is not, not acting quickly enough because this eight of wands to me is just quick, swift, immediate um, type of energy, but it's surrounded by a lot. Look, the four of pentacles, the five of pentacles, we're going to clarify a little bit, but someone is holding off here or is holding back is not letting go at the same time because this is the kind of love that i'm going to hold possessively here uh, but at the same time i'm nobody's opening up here taurus no one is opening up it's just a lot of planning a lot of trying to take actions here where someone does not feel i'm going to be uh casted outside or i'm going to be rejected it's a lot of thoughts because this is mercury by the way in taurus and this is mercury in sagittarius uh, so right away, there's something about communication and thoughts here that are not happening as swift. Like someone is waiting for things, but we have the methodical Virgo kind of, uh, it can be Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. I have a lot of earth. It's just thinking that, you know, I just don't want to mess up here. I don't want to cause some type of thing that I will be left out. But I know that I have true love, true unconditional love for someone. It's just I have to hold back here because I don't want to be rejected. So let's see. Let's clarify. What is that Knight of Pentacles, please? What is that Knight of Pentacles? One more. Wow, the Three of Cups. So there will be reconciliation, but it's not going to be. Look at the Two of Pentacles, by the way. The Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. It's just someone that is going towards this reconciliation. Mercury in Cancer. So you can see where this is going. A lot of Mercury. If we even look at the night kind of virgo energy there's mercury ruled as well so mercury is very strong um 
in the future here when it comes to how to people communicate but there's plans of reconciliation very methodical very slow what is the five of pentacles one more there's the dream here that is being worked out progress we have virgo and pisces by the way and taurus uh, i have eight of pentacles and nine of cups a wish fulfillment that has been going on for some time someone is like thinking negatively or thinking that maybe you know this is not going to happen i have a wish i have a desire i want to get out but how do i go about it a lot of overthinking here taurus there's going to be action being taken is there someone is thinking uh that they will be rejected what is the eight of wands one more wow the ten of pentacles a lot here about virgo energy and pentacles there's someone's family here or establishment uh, or commitment that someone here feels um cannot act in a careless way that's what i'm getting there because again virgo and sagittarius we have something about i cannot be impulsive there's something at stake here when it comes to family and establishment what is this ten of pentacles one more there's a lot of burden here by the way yeah it's someone's expectations someone is waiting here again in the the possibility in the future uh because remember the two of wands you have here and we have the three of wands is waiting for some type of news but it's not happening again quickly enough because there's something about commitment family uh and marriage here what is the empress here one more wow look how beautiful venus in cancer venus again is this a two of cups three of cups i keep getting the knight of pentacles there will be take uh, action will be taken again it's not fast enough but someone here has realized that again this is a person uh, that i have true love true union true soulmate you have the lovers coming here the two of cups as well what is this yeah two of pentacles says something is being juggled here or balanced back and forth what is this empress with the two of cups where's the empress with the two of cups one more queen of pentacles i'm telling you this is your energy there's someone very loving very nurturing very abundant what is the four of pentacles please some of you again this can be you or um, someone that has also a lot of earth in their chart what is the four of pentacles one more oh my god the nine of wands taurus someone is so careful here so guarded someone is not opening up is holding so tightly so possessively to this love but at the same time is coming with a fear of losing something else the expectations the waiting the dreams it's like someone is, feels like they've been worked working towards this or hoping to work toward this situation and dreaming of this uh wish fulfillment so in the near future i feel like things are going to st to start more methodically it's not going to be with the current uh, confusion here and all these options the, someone is very protective here about this empress by the way i feel like someone does not really want to cause any type of situation where the empress will be uh and i'm saying empress because i'm getting the feminine energy and the emperor here as a masculine but um it's like someone is very protective and is looking at this person you are my soulmate and is guarded but also very defensive because always i see the nine of wands as as the wounded warrior but also someone that also wants to protect here someone of importance someone that means a lot especially someone's structure um you know boundaries here are, are is what where this nine of wands is coming from because remember the eight of wands is just swift blunt 
whatever happens happens type of attitude but there's a lot of earth which tells me there's a certain sense of security and stability first and someone that needs to take it step by step there is a reunion and someone is wishing here is expecting but there's this cautious approach of what's coming next between you and this person so i'm going to ask here the psychic oracle deck i'm going to ask what does taurus need to know what does universe wants taurus to know here regarding their love life Does, does the universe want Taurus to know, please, regarding their love life? One more. Yeah, there's some solitude here. You see movement, choices, decision. It's, it keeps going to the two of ones here. Wow, there's a tower moment. There's a lot here happening. Again, I don't want to repeat that uh, lunar eclipse, but I feel like something is going to change here. <sighs> the moon, the shadow. There's going... Uh, Taurus, there's something here that has been built that does not hold water, they say anymore, needs to come purging. Remember that two of pentacles with the death card. There's something that needs to drop. There's something that needs to come to the surface. Um, some type of secrets here, um, something that has been kind of concealment or whatever needs to be purging. But have hope. This is these are major arcanas, guys. Something here is is changing, and it's, it feels like an emotional roller coaster. But there's still hope. Oh, a lot of uh, the suffering in silence. A lot of nine of swords energy. Some, someone here that keeps and I don't know if this is you just this is what you need to know that there's um, a lot of worry here of what needs to come to the surface or what is this foundation that is being disrupted here the emperor again is in control the tower is kind of taking that control away but look there's light and and dark here something needs to come to the surface and it's coming with hope there's a lot of uh, overthinking stress anxiety because someone is waiting wow that suffering here in silence is because someone is waiting for their ships is waiting for that uh, movement choices here to come in so be aware that yes there, there may be some type of disruption but these are meant again for something that you have been waiting this choice means a lot to you or to someone else when it comes to your love life something needs to purge something needs to come to the surface um it's a lot of worry but something is coming in with the recognition and reward Remember, after that comes the Four of Wands, which is um, celebration, engagement, and commitment. I really hope this resonates with you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.